Hello, and welcome to the third tutorial video for the Women's Stats Database. This tutorial will explain how to use the database to access data. In order to look at the data in the database, your variable acronyms from the codebook will be key. For more information, check out our codebook tutorial. For example, all data that falls under the topic of sex trafficking has been shortened to the acronym TRAFF, or TRAF. This covers all topics pertaining to the practice, law, and data of sex trafficking. To begin, from the womenstats.org homepage, press the data link in the top bar, then click Database, and log in if you have not already done so. In the left-hand column, press View Data. Once you get to this page, notice the view screen allows you to open an acronym list in a new window, which can help you jog your memory about what acronyms go with each variable. So let's say we are researching data regarding human trafficking. Let's look at our options. Notice there are some search parameters. Variable, country, year, sort, order, sort type, and generalizability. Let's say I want to know what is going on recently. So let's do 2010 to present. All that data coded in the database post-2010 will be pulled into the search. And since I want to find out recent data, I'll sort by newest to oldest. I want all data source types, but if you so choose, you can pick specific sources, such as journalistic accounts or national government reports. Now for generalizability. More generalizable sources are those that provide information generalizable to the whole country. Less generalizable sources provide information that is not generalizable to the whole country and may include personal experiences of women, information about smaller ethnic groups, etc. For example, many times you find news articles which actually quote personal experiences from women in regards to certain topics. These are not authoritative, but they are quite valuable in gaining insight into what is actually happening in a country. Now let's pick our country which we are interested in. Germany, from the pull-down menu. The standard view screen gives you three fields for countries and five fields for variables, but you can add as many countries and variables as you wish by using the Add button signified by the plus signs. The view screen will allow you to compare laws, practices, and data between countries instantly. The Transpose link allows you to switch the dimensions on the view screen. Notice when I click Transpose that the variables are now on the top and the countries are on the left. So let's try pulling the data about sex trafficking, or TRAF. Now let's take a look at all of our variables under trafficking, acronym TRAF, practice, data, and law, and select them from the pull-down menus for variables. For example, there's TRAF practice 1. Notice when you hover over the variables, a short description of the variable appears for your convenience. While searching, it can be easier and quicker if you hit the first letter of that variable, such as with TRAF. All you would need to do is hit on your keyboard T, and it will take you to all the variables that begin with T, and type in TR in quick succession, and all those beginning with TR, including TRAF, will appear. Data shows up instantly on the screen. There is your data on the subject of trafficking of women in Germany, covering what laws, practices, and data. There are even some skills provided. Notice that each and every data point provides a full bibliographic reference, with a live link to the original document where the information was found. You never need to hunt for where we found our data. Full bibliographic information is always provided. You may also begin your data search from the codebook. When you find a variable in the codebook that you are interested in, you can click on the Use button to the right of the variable. Your variable shopping cart will appear. You may add as many as five variables to the shopping cart. When you are ready to view the data, you click the Go to View Screen button. The database view screen will appear with your desired variables already selected. Now you know how to operate the database. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will cover how to download this data and use reports.